Hello, welcome to another episode of Research MD. We'll be talking about dexamethasone in COVID-19 patients. We're going to talk about a preliminary study, and it is a preprint article, meaning it hasn't been peer-reviewed by fellow scientists. Usually, preprint articles, you don't change health policy with the result, but COVID-19 is a pandemic, and dexamethasone is cheap, around $25 per month. When the preliminary results were announced June 16th, the same day UK uh, adopted it into their health uh, policies. You may have heard of remdesivir. Um, it's been, there's been a preliminary report on it and remdesivir has been shown to shorten the time to recovery, but it hasn't, there was no study on it decreasing death. It, as opposed to this article that shows um, dexamethasone can decrease mortality. So this is really important because dexamethasone is cheap and globally important. So we'll wait until um, it gets peer reviewed. But for the time being, um, what, what was their study? So they randomly assigned patients to one group received dexamethasone six milligram once daily for up to 10 days. And another group received the standard care that you give to COVID-19 patients. This um, there were 2,104 patients randomly assigned to receive dexamethasone with usual care, and then 4,321 patients randomly assigned to usual care. And where was this done? This was done at a, a 176 National Health Service hospitals in the UK. This study was open label, meaning that the patients and the physicians knew what treatment group they were assigned to, whether they received dexamethasone or they did not. This was what we find important, an intention to treat analysis, meaning that even if someone refused to take dexamethasone or someone dropped out of the study, we included their results anyway um, to reduce bias. And if you have more questions, uh, feel free to comment below and I'll, I'll, I'll write more about it. And primary outcome that the scientists measured was all-cause mortality within 28 days of randomization. Now, um, of all the patients either randomly assigned to the dexamethasone or usual treatment, you have these patients are either, you know, they don't need oxygen, they're doing relatively well for COVID-19, they are doing iffy, so they do receive oxygen, and they are doing or they are doing really bad and they require intubation. The reason why we're categorizing this is maybe dexamethasone has different effects for certain severities of COVID-19. So um, you can see the characteristics of these randomized groups and they're generally more or less uh, relatively proportional um, and which you would expect for patients who are randomized um, at such a large number. So let's talk about the results. So I want, RR stands for risk ratio. The lower it is compared to one, and the closer it is to zero, the more favorable dexamethasone is in decreasing death within 28 days after uh, assignment. And P, our cutoff is 0 0.05. Anything lower than 0 0.05 suggests that the results that we see are not due to chance. Anything greater than 0 0.05 suggests otherwise that it, it's, um, we, it's more likely, uh, we think, is due to chance. So um, for the whole patients, um, regardless, regardless of oxygen, intubation, or no oxygen, uh, risk ratio was 0.83, meaning those who received dexamethasones were 0.83 more likely to die within 28 days uh, than those who didn't receive um, dexamethasone, and P is less than 0.001. Let's talk about the patients who did, are relatively healthy. They did not require oxygen. Relative risk, a risk ratio is 1.22, meaning that those who received dexamethasone were more likely to die than those who did not receive dexamethasone, but P is 0.14. And then let's look at the other groups. Those who are doing iffy with COVID-19 are receiving oxygen only. Um, the risk ratio is 0.8, meaning those received dexamethasones are 0.8 more likely to die within the 28 days than um, those who did not receive dexamethasone. And P is 0.002, so this is less likely due to chance, these results. And then the, I guess the most important finding is the risk ratio for those intubated for COVID-19. 
is 0.65. So those who are intubated and receive dexamethasone are 0.65 times uh, likely to die within the 28 days than those who did not receive uh, dexamethasone. And this is less likely due to chance because P is less than 0 0.001. So it seems promising that dexamethasone can decrease mortality um, in COVID-19 patients, specifically more towards those who are uh, intubated or receiving oxygen. Thank you. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Bye.